400th anniversary of when Galileo pointed his telescope at the moon and at Jupiter and at Venus and figured out very quickly that we were not the center of the universe. It's kind of weak, ashy, gray light. And what light might that be? It's from the Earth. Nonsense, it can't be. How can the Earth give off light with its mountains, forests, and seas? It's a cold body. This is a play about the biggest ideas, the, the shaping of the human mind and consciousness and awareness of the world we live in and wrestling with the biggest questions we still continue to wrestle with. I mean, how do we balance faith and reason? How can the sun stand still if it's not turning? As this heretic claims, do the scriptures lie? All those ideas which could be lofty are made very real and very personal. And one of the things that Brecht is so good about is making intellectual things human. So it doesn't actually feel as scary as it might. This is the earth, and this is you standing on it. And now the earth turned. And I'm upside down. No. I learned a lot. I didn't think he had to go out to all that trouble to get all these things published and all that. Probably the most exciting translation of the Brecht piece that there is. And I think Michael made it come alive. How do we have a sense of religion in our lives without having to shut off the scientific mind? They put their faith not in God, but in star charts and a little brass ball, which they call a compass. This is a problem that's gone on for 2,000 years, and it seems to be just as vivid and present now as it was when Galileo lived. I've been to Florence and Pisa and Padua, I've seen the houses where he lived. Um, the stone that I use in the play is actually from his garden in Padua. It's a very exciting piece with lots of ideas that are uh, very stimulating and I love being in it. It's quite astounding. It's truly a work of art. With Clint Ramos designing sets and costumes. He has a real track record here of doing interesting, uh, compelling work. He thinks outside the box. He's an award-winning contemporary designer who does very, very fresh work. The work of Michael Edwards never ceases to amaze me. He finds a way of making it very original and creative, yet extremely entertaining. This is what we live to do, plays like this that ask everything of us, intellectually, spiritually, and artistically, to bring it off. I have to know!